Hi, my name is Tim Shawcross. I'm the program director here of Sterile Processing Technician at Ames Education College of Health Sciences. The role of sterile processing technician in healthcare is literally to uh, ensure that your surgical instruments are entirely sterile for the procedures that you are going to undertake. Well, I think the key skills uh, that you should possess in any healthcare studies is that you should be hardworking. Um, you should have an inquisitive mind, and you should um, do your research and make sure that you are sure that this is the correct career path um, for you. For some of the key features here, um, it has to do uh, primarily with passing the certification exam, which is uh, called the CRCST. Um, and there are many components um, in that. Obviously, sterilization, um, decontamination, and the interaction with the operating room is our three main components uh, that you would have to go over. We also have a, a full lab um, that we learn many of the instruments that you will be processing once you become a CRCST at a hospital. So the hands-on um, surgical instrument um, we go over here primarily have to do with four procedures. Um, we go over what's called a minor tray. Uh, we go over what's called a major tray. Um, and then as you advance into the next part, we will go over an OBGYN tray and an orthopedic tray. So ultimately, when you go out to clinical, you will um, obviously experience um, the different machines and instruments, um, you will get a, uh, a good um, cross-section of that while you're here at Ames, including um, the autoclave, which is behind us, uh, the instrument trays, which uh, we previously mentioned that you'll go over, and um, the different techniques for uh, decontam. Some of the advantages of the equipment and the instrument sets that we have is um, preparing you for ultimately what you will encounter once you get out to clinical and uh, get a job at a local hospital. Sterile processing here at Ames gives you a, a very good cross-section um, of what we call didactic, the learning in the textbook, which will prepare you for passing your CRCST, and um, the lab portion, which will prepare you um, for being out to clinical and in the different areas um, working side by side in either decontam, prep and pack, or sterilization. So we currently have a uh, quite a number of success stories for our alumni. Um, in the in the time that I've been here, a vast majority of our students have been hired. Uh, mainly through the clinical sites that they did and um, are doing very well. Also want to mention that we have an informational session that we run on a monthly basis and you can sign up on our website for that. And you also have the opportunity certainly to come visit us here on campus and we look forward to you coming by.